Our first speaker this evening is, his speech will be evaluated by able communicator Silva, Consul Propofis. Consul, would you please advise us of the criteria for this speech? The criteria for this speech is the purpose of this project is for the member to clearly define how Toastmasters envisions mentoring. Point two, the purpose of the speech is for the member to share some aspect of a previous experience as a protege. Thank you, Mr. Bob. Do you have the title? The title is, Let's Talk About Life. Gentlemen, please welcome to the lecture in the time of five to seven minutes. You be so cordial, the purpose of life, the purpose of life. Mr. Toastmaster, gentlemen, let's talk about life. What is life? What is the gist of life? Do we have a responsibility to share our successes with the rest of the world other than just our families? Jim Brown says, life is a struggle to keep death at a respectable di distance. So if death wants to approach prematurely, life must push back. But in that pushing back, can you do it just by yourself? Or you need the rest of us to do the pushback in your life? I read somewhere that there are some people that have lived longer than the, 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 normal, the, than the general society. And part of their recipe for living longer is what we do on a bi-weekly basis. Getting together with friends, share a common purpose. And that, in a way, pushes death and it keeps it at a respectable uh, uh, distance. Now, we are human beings, and, and as human beings, we are interdependent. We cannot live our lives by ourselves. We come to this earth at different times. Some are young and some are old. The young ones depend on the older ones to show them the path. But the older ones depend on the young ones to perpetuate their decades. Now, sometimes people are not old in terms of years, but some people are just wise enough to take some things a bit earlier than others. And even in those cases, the ones that join first, they must teach the new members and show them the path. And this is what Toastmasters International envisaged about the mentoring program, showing another the light. Now, I've been involved in different forms of mentoring, formal and informal. When I joined the club, I was allocated a mentor. I have paid for mentorship. But the one that stands out for me is the mentorship relationship that I had with my parents. I don't know whether actually we can call parenting a mentorship. But I think yes we can do it. Parenting provides guidance to the young ones about the general aspects of their lives. Now, the relationship, the mentorship relationship that I had with my parents was an interesting one because it was my mother and my father and I love my mother as my mentor. In fact, I still love her as my mentor because when I do good, 
she pats me in the back and says, well done, son, you've done very well. And if I'm lucky enough, she even gives me a packet of sweets. <laughs> <laughs> but when I do wrong, then she shows me what is it that I should have done to do right, and then she says, don't worry about it, you'll get it right the next time. And on the other hand, on the other hand, you had my father, who, if you do right, he would say basically nothing. Because he says, this is what I expected you to do. So there's no reason for me to say anything. You've done what is expected of you. The only, the only words of encouragement you will get when you do something wrong. And how he will do it, he will laugh at you and he will say, you are such a fool. Why did you do this and that and the other? Now you have to pay the price of making a mistake by first cleaning up the mess before you move on and do whatever that's necessary to be done. Now, I loved my father. In fact, I still love him, although he's not here in the, the physical presence. But I would say to you, when you are given the responsibility of being a mentor, don't be my father. We like people who are straight with us when we are protégés, but do it with kindness. Be supportive, be caring, and be positive. Now, as part of the guidance that I've also got, I have dedicated myself to reading, and I've received a lot of guidance in in reading, reading books, reading uh, on the internet, and sometimes finding YouTube videos where people explain the subject that I would be interested in. But the challenge with that kind of guidance is that you don't have a face-to-face -face interaction. You don't have the perspective of why the person is saying, do what is suggesting for you to do. Now, as human, we are interdependent. We depend on each other, and that's the essence of life. Now, when you are given the opportunity to mentor, please share and take the, the, the opportunity seriously. If you are a mentee, take the opportunity as well seriously of the time that has been dedicated. Because I can assure you, no, none of us wants to take the gift of skills that we had with us back to the Creator. And even more so, none of us want to struggle with the question that says, when you are about to die, the question is, did I do everything I could with all that I was given? And you want to say, yes, I did my best. Mr. Postmaster.